Welcome to Winging It. We're playing Gloomhaven Digital today, and I'm just on the backside of three failures at the Frozen Hollow. And I'm thinking that I don't actually have a good solution for Retaliate, uh, and that is my problem. And there are good solutions available for Retaliate. Um, what I actually think I need is the, um, the second level or the third level... Um, spell from the mind thief that i didn't take that allows you to heal uh when she hits when she does damage uh because then i can keep doing damage and i can just hit those retaliates with abandon um, and use my melee stuff uh, which is what these two are built for and i think that's where i've been failing uh because i've never really struggled with this one so much but this is kind of two rogue characters and they need to be doing melee damage so what i am going to do is i'm going to go off and do um, a different scenario and that will allow me to take my time and uh i can um I can come back when I have the proper equipment to be able to handle this scenario. It means putting off enchantments for a little while, and I I actually you know paid the temple for you know some 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 blessings in Pokey's deck, which I probably wouldn't have done if I was going somewhere else. Uh, but I mean these two can clearly handle. Uh, I mean they handled the scenario before this with no problem. Um, I just don't have an answer for retaliate. So. Uh, rather than beating my head against the wall, this is not a raid. <laughs> we'll we'll go do something else. And I apologize for having three failed scenarios in a row. I'm sure we'll come back and just crush it later. For now, we're going to go up to the um, let's see, the crypt of the damned. Learn more about the gloom. And because of that, we're going to change our decks a little bit. Uh, we don't need what we have. Um, let's see. Uh, I think of what would be good here. Oh, we definitely need some movement. We definitely want that feedback loop. Um, I don't even know that we need this hostile takeover. Let's see. Is there anything else we need? Well, we don't need the submissive, affli a submissive affliction. So... Uh... Although, actually, that's... No, that's a good top attack. Uh, so, I guess... Pretty good. The question is, do we need the Fearsome Blade? But, I think... I mean, I think we do. I think it's good. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go with this. Uh, let's see what we got. We definitely don't need um, the Swift Bow here. We'll go back to the Sensor Opportunity, which is good. Um, the Smoke Bomb. Yeah, we definitely need that. Uh, what did we take out for that? Oh, we took out, we took, uh, the Duelist Advance because we just upgraded it to that, which is super good. Um, we could, uh, well, we need another, like, moderately fast thing. Uh, the Thief's Snack is good, though. Maybe we don't need the Venom Shiv. Maybe we don't need the Backstab anymore. Yeah, we'll take out the Backstab. And we want the we want the smoke bomb. Okay, so let's go do this. We're gonna go uh, do the uh, crypt of the damned, and then we'll come back to the frozen hollow when we're ready. And uh, so let's get to it. Not far outside of Gloomhaven, you look up and see a large bird flying overhead. Something is odd, though. Its wounds are jerky, and there's smoke billing out of it. Then you see it plunge into a sudden nosedive and crash into the ground off the east. You rush the scene and find a limping suit-covered quattrel kicking a giant winged contraption made of leather and metal. Curse this wretched thing, he yells in frustration. I thought I'd worked it out, and then I suddenly lost pressure in the piston chamber. He looks over at you. You there. Wonderful timing. Help me get this thing back into the air. There's no time to waste. Uh, let's demand an explanation. You force the Quattro to slow down and talk to you, but his eyes keep darting around in panic. Don't you understand? The world needs my technology now. I must perfect it. It will revolutionize everything. You agree that power flight is pretty great, but you convince the Quattro that the world can wait a day for him to get some rest and organize his thoughts. You help him transport his broken machine back to town. We get plus one prosperity. Fantastic. 
I would have done it had we been the Tinkerer, <laughs> but we're not, so. The bandit commander's proclamations of a glue do not sit well in your stomach as you search the bend in the still river. Something here holds an interest for these maniacs. You are somewhat surprised to find the ruins of an ancient crypt half covered in moss and ivy. The history of this place is old and dark. With no other information to go on, you head down into the depths. Whatever these supposed bandits are up to, you're determined to find out. Even after you stumble across a large group of them, along with some reanimated dead at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, have one or more monsters present at the map at the beginning of every run of the scenario. It's two perk points. That'd be great. Loot. Okay, we'll definitely do that one instead of the loot. No gold piles or chest tiles. This isn't, is going to make things difficult, actually. But we need gold. So we may just give up on this one. Alright, uh, kill one or more elites. We'll probably do that. Cause a trap to be sprung or disarmed. I think we're more likely to kill the elite, so. All right, let's go. Let's get to work. Let's do some damage, and let's not deal with retaliates. Goodness gracious, I need a win, though. <laughs> mistake coming here one of the bandits hisses you disagree you are right where you want to be indeed okay i think we're gonna do something somewhat cheeky here uh one two three yeah okay so we're going to do the Perverse Edge, but actually we're going to do the Fearsome Blade instead of our normal Perverse Edge. Uh, and then we'll push this guy, we'll pull him here, and then we'll push him across into that trap. And that will uh, meet her battle goal, right? Oh no, sh oh! No, we have to kill an Elite. Well, it still might actually meet her battle goal. Either way, it's a good way to deal with him. Uh, actually though, we probably want her to be here, so that she can stun the, uh, yeah. Okay, but we can still do the same thing, just push it this way. All right, and then we'll still do the flanking strike and the smoke bomb. We'll stun this one, hopefully we'll kill this one, and yeah, here's hoping. We get a lot done this turn. Okay. That Living Bones Elite is going to be a pain more. That Bandit Archer is going to hit four damage. But we got eight health now. We can handle this. All right. So let's pull this guy in. Okay. It would be really great if we could just kill him straight up. So we are going to attack. We're going to use our goggles. And we're going to use the poison dagger. now I stunned and then we will all right that should kill him and then we completed her elite take four damage not a big deal all right and then she can rush up with her uh 
I only wish we had the mind's weakness out, but whatever. Okay, we're going to... Uh, uh, empathetic Assault. And we will... Do the Frigid... And that, that will stun this one. And we can apply a Poison. Alright, now... Those advance one, two, three, and attack. Yeah, and then we could actually thief snack to get on the to hit her on the bottom too. So, and or we might do. Yeah, I think we'll be working on the since this one will be stunned. We can work on this one. All right, so that sounds good. All right, let's go. So we'll go up here. And we'll heal up. We'll attack. We'll stun. Hold on. Undo. There we go. There's. I want to make sure I got the poison blade. I'll help us do more damage next time. Scoundrel, move up. We'll attack. Okay. We'll use the. Oh, we already used the goggles. We just have to get lucky here. We did. Excellent. Okay, now we need to open this door this turn. But I think what we're going to do is the Mind Thief will Brain Leech and then attack. Should be able to do, or actually, yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, we Brain Leech first. Well, that's hard to say. I think we Mind's Weakness and then Brain Leech. All right, Z, we will Flintlock to grab this gold. And then, actually, I think we want to be able to... Yeah, I think we grab the gold and open. We need a big move, though. I guess we don't have a big move. Nope. Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. So we're just trying to keep uh, something on the map at all times. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If the Mind Thief just kills it outright. Okay, so we need the throwing knives. So I think we'll just leave the gold here. We might come back for it. Okay. Yeah, and we just wanted to, because we wanted to keep enemies on here at all times. That's why we wanted to not kill this guy first. Okay, what is this doing? Okay, he's just going to move an attack. Move one and attack. So if we go here, what are they doing? Move four, attack two. So I can just come back. They're going to attack no matter what, though. It's attack two, range four. It's not bad. hit by multiple. We don't want to get hit by that one. So if we come here. Yeah, but we can still get the gold, but then we can't attack this with the... Let's see, it's attack three. One, two, three. Hmm, there's really nowhere I can go where I won't get hit. So, just come back here. And I can still attack that one with my, yeah. Okay. It might not. I mean, it, 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 we could get lucky on a crit on that one. 
Hey, okay. I'll take it. Alright, so... The odds are, if we, if we hit this one with an advantage, we'll kill it with a 3 damage attack, so... The so strengthen will give us a buff, and then this should land. Yeah. Not much damage. Oh, well, okay. I I thought he, I thought it was move one, attack three. <laughs> Wow, I got that wrong. Okay. Let's see. We can use submissive affliction to have her attack her. Then we could scurry, but the problem with the scurry. Yeah, we could okay, we can use a special mixture. And attack. Because we want the scurry to go. Late. We want it to go after this one so she can move out of the way. And then she can go in and attack. Oh, well, the other thing is, we could... No, oh, I just like this. If we can kill the cultists quickly, that means they don't spawn living bones as quickly, so I think I like this. Okay. Uh, the cultist can do a lot of damage when it dies. We don't need to kill it this turn, so... This may change what I want to do. Move three, attack four. That's gross. Right. Ow. Ow. Heal and run away. We could attack her and run away. Actually, we'll do that. I don't think we kill it. back here so that we can long rest. And not get shot. Everybody's gone, so... I don't want to take the hit from this, so... Oh, I don't have... Okay. Hmm. I was thinking... I was thinking that uh, I had the one that allowed me to jump over, but I don't, so... I think I have... This, yeah. Kill or attack. Okay, that was good. Then we scurry up and hit this. If it dies, we're going to take some damage and we're going to be sad. Because it'll hit us, but. Ha ha ha! Oh, wait, why didn't the girl. Yeah, I did. Okay, three damage. Yeah. 
Let's see, what are our next turns? Do we need to heal up? We have Into the Night and Feedback Loop. Which we'll just loot and hide. I think we're okay. Hopefully we go fast and we don't... Uh, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll go ahead and heal just to be on the safe side. This feedback loop isn't going to do us any good at all. Almost, yeah, well, that's fine. So she's going to long rest, bring her goggles back. The mind thief is going to go into the night. All right, well, she didn't, the, th the whole thing I worry about is these cultists spawning the, um, the bones, because they just take up so many turns to deal with. Uh... Move to attack zero. That's fine. Does nothing. I mean, it's actually. I can attack it. Okay. That was a weird sound effect. Yeah, so we'll just uh, attack it. Hope not to crit. Oh, we should. No, we didn't have our poison. Okay, and then we'll go invisible. A long rest. We'll heal up. Um, do we burn the sinister opportunity? Either that or the Venom Shiv, but the, oh, that nice. I think we need... Having a slow thing is good, though. Oh, I just realized I was going to use this uh, smoke bomb to pull. But I can't, actually, so... Yeah. Just burn it. Okay, we're going to go slow. We want to move up to here, so we want a three move. Yeah, go slow and then throwing knives. Yeah, should be good. One, two, three, and then we should be able to hit those two. And they probably can't get into this room to attack me, and the mind thief is blocking. The only issue is if this decides decides to uh, spawn. Living bones. It doesn't. She's gonna heal up, and who cares? Oh, it healed that one though. That's a little bit annoying. Oh, they can run through. Okay, that's not good. That is really not good. Oh, I thought they couldn't get through because I thought the might thief was one away. Okay. Well, I would have done this differently. I probably would have applied the healing potion. Uh, that's gonna cost me. So we're still going to move up to here. We're not going to really move that one. There's no reason to. We're going to use our goggles because we get a bonus on both of these attacks. Yeah, worth. Nice. Okay. We're going to heal up. So we don't burn another card. Oh, that hurts so much. All right. Okay. Um, what can we live without? 
probably the feedback loop as much as I love it the because we have the we have the with the striding so all right okay we have okay we can stun the cultist so we don't have to worry about the cultist flanking strike on this one and probably the, the thief snack to really lay into it We'll perverse edge this one to keep the stun, keep from spawning, and uh, so we just don't kill everything this round. <laughs> That's the one thing. Uh, we actually stand a very good chance of doing that. So one, two, three, four, We're actually going to scurry to open this door to make sure that we get uh, that enemy, that uh, an enemy on the board at all times. Hope I'm not being too greedy. Might be too greedy. Attack again. It's dead. Okay, the mind thief. I guess we'll just move to right here and attack this. One. Oh, she's going to move three, attack two, range five, and mobilize. But we have a good chance of just killing her outright. The next turn we can go. Yeah. Oh no, we didn't. Okay, I think we have to. Well, sh it's fine. Um, does the. Scoundrel have a way. She has her boots and a move five. Okay, yeah, she can go open the door next turn. All right, so we'll just take the hit from the bandit archer. Haha, <laughs> you can't crit me. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have a way. The, the, the mind thief actually can't do anything to this cultist. So I guess we'll just loot and strengthen for the next turn. And heal, I guess. Alright, and... We'll duelist advance. Kill. And then we'll move a big amount. Okay. And we'll skip the movement and we will heal. I want to be here because it's closer. You know what? I should have applied the poison. It would have it would have prevented the heal. Oh, that was dumb. Okay, what's she going to do? Attack four, range five. I'm gonna go open this door. You bash in the door thinking you've prepared for anything. Before you, however, stands a creature of pure elemental energy, enraged and demonic. 
It takes you a second to collect yourself. As if animating the dead wasn't enough for these lunatics. Okay, so this is a trap damage five. It would be nice if we could get this guy. So he's going to move three, attack four. But, yeah, we're not going to be anywhere near him. Is there a stamina po Is there something we want to get back? Let's see. If yeah, there is. Back to Duelist Advance. This, uh, I am not opening this. For reasons. Okay, we're probably gonna need to move away from this guy. And then the mind thief is going to brain leech and then submissive affliction, and this cultist will be dead. Okay, the earthy elite is gonna attack for range four. Okay, so we'll just get out of its way. Okay. Attack this, we'll add the poison. Let's make sure we kill it. And by make sure we kill it, it means the next action we will for sure kill it. Because we get, we're attacking at a five and we get a victory point. Or XP, whatever. All right. So we attack for three, and then we're just going to move. Okay, we can move out of the way. All right, so we'll actually move here to get us one away. Skip movement, and we'll attack. Might as well use the blade, or the poison, in case we miss. Because we're going to long rest anyway. And then we'll move up here. Okay, we're gonna risk a long risk with that thing just hanging out. And the Mind Thief. We're just gonna, we have boots, we can move. Okay, he's gonna move to attack three, but okay. I wish I'd gone slower, because I could have pushed this guy into that trap. But uh, we didn't. He's gonna move what? Two, one, two. So yeah, we'll be out of his range. I don't think we need the throwing knives. I'm gonna take a long rest here. I wish we had some means of healing up. Maybe we'll put some damage on this guy. Does he? Okay, yeah. Go slow. Then we can. One, two, three. Attack up for a poison. 
and then we can back out. One attack five low blight. Okay, cool. And the, does the mind thief need to drop one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Yeah, she does need to drop her mind's weakness so that she can reapply it and get an extra round. All right, so we are going to move. attack. We'll just use the eagle eye goggles to get more damage in. Oh, poison. At the very least, it'll block some healing. And then we'll move five and get ready to go into this room, I guess. We're not going in yet. So what do we not need? Maybe the time for healing is done. Maybe the time for piercing blade. Oh man. Oh, we can't push one, two. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we can push back that way. Yeah. It's too unfortunate because that five damage trap would be so good. Um, there is a trap coming up. So maybe we want to keep that. We have the stamina potion. I am tempted. I think the fridge. Uh, to get rid of this. Well, it's between the submissive affl affliction and. What else? The empathetic assault. This has a nice big attack at the end, so yeah, we'll get rid of this. Okay, so the Mind Thief is definitely going to... Attack with that. And then we'll Mind's Weakness. And we'll stun him and do some damage to him. I think actually there might be a trap that we could move three into. So we move in and then yeah, attack with a poison. It doesn't matter how slow she is. Yeah, we'll prevent the heal, that's great. Oh, that's a good amount of damage. Okay. Going to uh, skip the attack and apply that. All right. Yeah, so we can move here. Let's see what. Okay, what are these guys going to do? All right. Guess what? You get to step onto a trap. And now we are going to go bye bye.
Okay. We scurry and hide. That's what we want to do. We do have this fearsome blade, the um, the frigid apparition, but we can go back and keep working on this guy. Actually, there's, let's see. Okay, with the caveat that we may have to go deal with this guy if he's gonna summon something. See, if we push them back one, two, push them back one, two, in the next turn we can actually push them into that trap. That's interesting. Okay, well, I'm not gonna do it right now. Let's see, what is our... We need to use Empathetic Assault to go fast. Or Into the Night to go fast. We can always get it back. Okay, but we want to stun this guy. Okay, and then our... We go very, very slow. There's an argument here for just straight up flintlocking one of these guys and just killing them outright. I might do that. The win okay, so the cultist is going to sa summon a living bones, which that's going to entirely change my plan. These wind demons are going to Let's see what's this guy going to do. He's going to move, attack five, and immobilize. These wind demons are going to push one, attack three, range three. So they're both going to attack the mind thief, but I think she can take it. See, will this one move actually? It's not, so it won't even see the mind thief. So it should only get damaged by the one. All right, we'll try to stun in case we miss. Good deal. Do we want to recover into the night? Uh, let's do it. So we could just straight up wreck this guy, or we could attack this guy from the top and bottom. Let's see, that's three, what's our, what's our attack modifiers? Well, we have a good chance of actually doing extra damage to him. So sure, let's just do it. the top attack. No, no, no. We want to do the bottom attack here and the top attack here. Alright. They don't retaliate or anything, right? No. Alright, that's nice. We're going to short rest because we just have to try and kill these guys now. Uh, I guess we'll burn that. Oh no, we're not going to burn that. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna gain advantage. And, uh, wait. It's plus two to your attacks. Alright. So Mind Thief needs to heal up. Or, we could just try to do a four combat. It would be nice if we got a, uh, 
Let's see. Yeah, she can actually hide. The problem here is how do we deal with this thing? I think we need to let's see. We could just try to one shot this, but her modifiers we could disarm it. At least it keeps our stabby safe. So we could do that for the top action and then the bottom action. That's interesting. It gives us the option to actually run up and do another attack. So now let's keep it. We'll keep it. We'll see what's going to go on. We don't mind burning cards at this point. Okay, the Wind Demon is going to move three, attack four. Oh, it's going to do a lot of attack. This Earth Demon is going to move two, attack four, and mobilize. All right. So we're going to get add the attack damage. So we're attacking at 5 V2. Excellent. All right. So this is going to move 3 attack 4. We can try to just kill it. We're not successful, but we don't need to do another attack. It's disarmed, so what's it going to do? It just moves three attack. Oh, there's no wind, actually. That doesn't matter. It doesn't know what to do, so. Let's get this uh, gold. <gasps> oh, no. I hadn't realized, I didn't realize it was going to move so far. Alright, so. Well, at least we can brain leech. And then we can, uh, get invisible. So we're just going to go fast to a, the attack and get, get some advantage. The flintlock is what we want. Let's see. Two, three. Let's go over here and loot. We can loot. Uh, yeah, we can go over here and loot all this gold. It's good. Assuming we don't die. Move one, attack three. Yeah, that's bad. Wind Demon is going to. Alright, well, we might be able to kill the Wind Demon this turn. We'll see. It's already poisoned. Okay, but now we are strengthened. And we get. Uh, I'll go ahead and poison it just in case we don't kill it. Which we don't. And then we're going to hide. Okay, well this does change things a little bit. I don't know if it changes things a lot though. be attacking at three. It's not great. Let's just move. Yeah. And then we'll loot. And we can 
do a long rest and make sure we're nice and healthy. The mine thief is one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so we do want to lose the mine's weakness a long rest. We're invisible, so it's probably okay. Okay, just healed. They just got rid of the poison. That's not a big deal. See, this trap is five. We can still push that guy into that at some point, maybe. Probably not, though. Yeah, I think the idea of pushing into major traps is not going to happen. So we'll drop the... Oh, although having that... Top and bottom is pretty good. Maybe we'll drop this one. Let's see, I'm guessing we don't need the sinister opportunity. Lock would attack its range five. One, two, three. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, so we can flintlock and then duelist advance on this, and we should kill it. And then all that's left is for the mind cube to take this down, which she can. which we reverse edge and the mind's weakness to get set up, and then next turn we just do bottom and top attacks. Yeah. Seems good. Okay. So we stun this guy. Um, let's see. We'll do this. We can apply... Oh, we, we already applied the poison. Yeah. So... bad. Oh yeah, he'll die. Alright, the scoundrel. Oh no, it doesn't work. <laughs> Alright. I miscounted. We're going to give ourselves some boots. Let's go here. And get some gold. And then we will, yeah, let's get the attack. Then we'll attack here with the goggles. That's worth some XP. There we go. Oh, she exhausted. Oh no. Yeah, I guess I knew that was gonna happen. Did she get her battle goal though? I don't even remember what her about. Oh, it was to have an uh, enemy on the at the same all, the whole time. All right, so we would ideally like to kill this and then move and get the loot, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't see any way. Oh wait, uh, we have a bottom loot card, right? Loot two. Yeah, that's that is a scurry. So if we kill it with the fearsome blade and the skull, yeah. Then we could uh, use the scurry on the bottom. It's a loot too. Good 
up. Yeah. That feels good to have a victory. It's clear that you've disrupted some sort of ritual here. These elemental demons belong on an entirely different plane of existence. But the cultists have somehow managed to pull them through to this one. On the altar in the back room, there is a wealth of scribblings on these rituals. Not all of the writing is intelligible, but you get the sense that this crypt is a place of power once used by an ancient civilization. The ancients tapped the power of the elements to enhance their own lives. And while their exact fate is beyond your knowledge, it clearly didn't end well. Among the scripts, you also find notes on a couple of other places of power in the area. One appears to have seen heavy use with the cult, and the other is marked as being overrun by vicious undead. It looks as though you have the opportunity to either disrupt more of their work, or get in their good graces by helping to clear a threat. Alright, got it. Oh, two perk points is great. Yeah, you got some new perks? Yeah, they're gonna be really in good shape now. I wonder if we gotta level up. We'll see, I guess. But those perks will help them do more consistent damage. So. Ten XP. We got the new ruinous crypt. And the decaying crypt. Alright, yeah, the Mind Thief is going to level up. Let's see what we got. Okay, Pilfer. Yeah, that one's kind of weird. Okay, Cranium Overload. Yeah, that's the kill one normal enemy. With a range 4. Attack 2, move 3, attack 2 is great, but it's a burn card. Move 5 is nice. Kill one normal enemy. Yeah, I am actually am going to take this Silent Scream. Uh, this will be a good way, to, I think, uh, to deal with the um, the retaliate enemies because we can just keep everybody really healed up. It just mean relies on it, it lets Stabby just go crazy with all her uh, damage, and Pokey can just keep her uh, keep her going. So, all right, let's do our perks now. So, we've already gotten rid of the negative two card. Let's get rid of the other two negative ones. Yeah. Well, there's one more negative one after that, but. Gets a negative one with a plus one. So that's nice. But yeah, let's get rid of two negative ones. It just, it's, this is such a better draw deck, right? Where almost, you can almost be assured there's only two cards that you can draw that wouldn't at least give her the damage that she, she's shooting for. Oh, uh, we haven't got the negative... I should have taken the ignore scenario effects, but I guess I don't know when the next one is that we have that. All right, so on to Pokey, uh, which we already have the ignore scenario. So we get two perks. No, just one? Okay. Yep, we'll get rid of the negative ones. I thought since she leveled up, we had another one, but I guess not. Oh, Stabby needed one more gold, and we could actually get her um, a shield, which would be... Like another pretty nice thing that she could have for you know just taking less damage, but she may not need it with the uh, oh, the healing. So let's go ahead and look at her deck. I do want to. Well, uh, yeah, I think we take out the submissive affliction, and now we'll put in this uh, the silent scream. So the difference is, I didn't explain this, but this will let this will let you heal other players for two that are around you. So if they just move together, and she has this, I mean, I realize that, uh, you know, everybody says that the mind's weakness is the way to go. But being able to just, like, let Stabby go crazy and not have to worry at all about, you know, or neither of them having to worry about healing and keeping healthy, that's, that's pretty strong. So anyway, we're going to do that. And uh, I feel pretty good about these builds. We may go back and try 
the other one again. Let's see, uh, the merchant has something new, right? Which is just that new item we got, the Ring of Skulls, which is just a summon. Um, summons a skeleton. I don't know if that's any good or not. Uh, do we have another room for a small item? Yeah, it's locked. And yeah, she has her items. Okay, let's do the uh, city encounter. You're walking across the silent bridge, headed toward the sleeping lion to get a quick meal, when you see a quattrel standing in front of the small cart laden with plates of food and curious contraptions. Come try the del delicacies of the East, the quattrel barks. Food enhanced with science, flavors beyond your wildest imagination. Uh, I don't really want to... <laughs> I don't want to mess with that. Yep. As a quick glance at the cart, you are not even sure how you'd go about eating most of the food. Best to play it safe in these situations and stick to what you know. We'll fill you up cheaply. Yep. Okay. Alright. I just want to see. Is there anything... So, yeah. I was just trying to... I thought I was thinking a heater shield. Oh, we could buy a heater shield, actually. Um, so, the question is, do we want to go try that one scenario again? Maybe. I mean... The heater shield, when damaged by attack, gain shield one for the attack. see maybe just prevent you know one damage every round seems okay I don't know if there's anything else I want in my hand slot right. unless we want to get the piercing bow I wonder if I save up for the piercing bow rather than the piercing the the dagger because that would pretty much enable us to... Yeah. Well, for now, let's, let's just do the, the heater shield. See, it might be useful. Alright. Alright, I feel good about that, though. We really improved ourselves with this. <laughs> the only thing is, as they level up, they're going to make those, those guys even tougher. Um, Alright, anyway. Good run. Feels good to have, uh, you know, a, a, a full clear... Uh, getting all the stuff and all the battle goals after uh, I got wrecked a couple times. So, it's the ebbs and flows of Gloomhaven. Hope you're enjoying watching it. I will see you next time on Winging It.